Hello friends, welcome to all on this .NET Framework Tutorials. If you are new on this video please subscribe to overall YouTube channel and press the bell icons to never miss an updates for our upcoming videos. The agenda of today's session. First we learn features of .NET Framework. Then we discuss about what are the origin of .NET technology and its three different origins. First, OLE technology. Second, COM technology. Third is .NET technology. Then we discuss about the CLR and CTS. After that we learn what are the specifications of CLS and MSIL. And last but not least we learn the just-in-time compilations and some framework built-in classes libraries. Now we learn. The what are the of .NET framework. The first features is the rich functionality out of the box. Means the functionally can reach out of the box. Second features is easy development of web applications. Third features is it supports the OLP's concepts. And last fourth features is it supports the multiple languages. Let's talk one by one. Rich functionality out of the box. In Net Framework provides a rich set of functionality out of the box. It contains hundreds of classes that provide variety of functionality ready to use in your applications. This means that as a developer you need not go into low-level details of many operations such as file I.O., network communication, and so on. Second type of feature is easy development of web applications. It means to say ASP.NET is a technology available on .NET platform for developing dynamic and data-driven web applications. ASP.NET provides an event-driven programming model similar to Visual Basic 6 that simplify development of web pages, now called as web forms, with complex user interface. ASP.NET Server Controls provide advanced user interface elements, like calendar and grids, that save a lot of coding from programmer's side. And third it supports the OPP's concepts. Means the advantages of object-oriented programming are well known. .NET provides a fully object-oriented environment. The philosophy of .NET is object is mother of all. Languages like Visual Basic .NET now support many of the OO features that were lacking traditionally. Even primitive types like integer and characters can be treated as objects something not available even in OL languages like C++. And last is the multi-language support. Means the languages are generally enterprises have varying skill sets. For example, a company might have people with skills in Visual Basic, C++, and Java etc. It is an experience that whenever a new language or environment is invented existing skills are outdated. This naturally increases cost of training and learning curve. .NET provides something attractive in this area. It supports multiple languages. This means that if you have skills in C++, you need not throw them but just mold them to suit .NET environment. Currently four languages are available right out of the box namely Visual Basic .NET, C Sharp, pronounced as C Sharp, JScript.NET, and Java.NET. And or so many feature of .NET framework. As to what is the origin of .NET technology? The origin of .NET framework. The first origin is the OLE technology. Then seconds is the COM technology, and last but not least is the .NET technology. Now, what is the OLE technology? The OLE is stands for Object Linking and Embedding. It can be developed by Microsoft. It allows you to take objects from a document in one application and place them in another. It is easy inter-process communication. OLE also supports linking of document parts, and, 
It embed documents from one applications to another applications. The second is COM technology. It is stands for Component Object Model. It is also developed by Microsoft. They allows monolithic approach leads to many problem of maintainability and testing. The program is broken into number of independent components where each one offers a particular services. Each component can be developed and tested independently and then integrated into main system. The third and last origin is .NET technology. It is third generation component model which can also develop by Microsoft corporations. Many times it uses metadata. It is used to develop form-based applications, web-based applications, and web services. It is a virtual machine for compiling and executing programs written in different languages like C Sharp, VB.NET, etc. We talk about .NET framework in lecture number one. If you are not watched that lecture, please go and watch it. We discuss what is CLR. The CLR is stands for Common Language Runtime, and C Sharp applications are compiled to IL, which is executed by the CLR. This section highlights several features of the CLR. You'll also see how the CLR manages your application during execution. In many traditional execution environments of the past, programmers needed to perform a lot of the low-level work plumbing that applications needed to support. For example, you had to build custom security systems, implement error handling, and manage memory, and many more. The CLR solves many problems of the past by offering a feature-rich set of plumbing services that all languages can use. And lastly, if an application is for .NET, Windows starts up the CLR and passes the application to the CLR for execution. The CLR loads the executable assembly, finds the entry point, and begins its execution process. Yes, it stands for Common Type System, where the CTSR supports to support multiple programming languages on a single CLR and have the ability to reuse the FCL, the types of each programming language must be compatible. This binary compatibility between language types is called the Common Type System, CTS. Common Specification, CLS. It's every type can understand by CLR. Although the CLR understands all types in the CTS, each language targeting the CLR will not implement all types. Languages must often be true to their origins and will not lose their features or add new features that aren't compatible with how they are used. However, one of the benefits of having a CLR with a CTS that understands IL and an FCL that supports all languages is the ability to write code in one language that is consumable by other languages. For CLS compliance, you can still use unsigned types within your code so long as you don't expose them in the public interface of your code, where code written in other languages can see. Example C, C++, Java, and others, in lecture first, .NET can supports 50 plus successful languages. MSIL, it is stand for Microsoft Intermediate Language. We can call it as Intermediate Language, IL, or Common Intermediate Language, SIL. During the compile time, the compiler convert the source code into Microsoft Intermediate Language, MSIL. Microsoft Intermediate Language, MSIL, is a CPU-independent set of instructions that can be efficiently converted to the native code. During the runtime, the Common Language Runtime, CLR, S Just-In-Time, JIT, 
compiler converts the Microsoft Intermediate Language MSIL code into native code to the operating system. The Microsoft Intermediate Language MSIL and metadata are contained in a portable executable PE file. Just in time compilation an efficiency feature for ensuring that the CLR only compiles code just before it executes. Just in time compiler, JIT, is a part of common language runtime, CLR, in .NET which is responsible for managing the execution of .NET programs regardless of any .NET programming language. A language-specific compiler converts the source code to the intermediate language. This intermediate language is then converted into the machine code by the just-in-time JIT compiler. This machine code is specific to the computer environment that the JIT compiler runs on. The last topic of this lecture is framework-based class. The .NET framework class library is the collection of classes, interfaces, namespaces, data type, and value types that are used for .NET applications. In framework contain thousand of classes likes, user-defined data type, access to data, wrappers around OS functionality, support for creating web services, and many more base class libraries architecture as shown below in that architecture two main part first is bcl and second is the system the main part is bcl means base class library it locates to the every other library like system.web system.data system.xml and the system can locates the R objects like input output class library, security class, testing class extra. I hope you can understand this lecture. For this type of lectures, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icons to never miss an update. Thanks for watching this video. For more, visit our website www.syllabusme.in.